Ms. Ji Zhi Huang, please Madame report Chiesa the Wong. attendance of the parties and other individuals to today's proceedings. Mr. President, for today's proceedings, all parties to this case are present. Mr. Moji is present in the ruling cell downstairs. He has waived his right to be present in the courtroom. The waiver has been delivered le to the greffier. greffier, the expert who is to continue his testimony today, that is the Issa Osman, and the OCIJ legal officer, Judy Badesh, are present in the courtroom. President, thank you. The Chamber now decides on a request by a known chair. Merci. The Chamber has received a waiver from Nunchia dated 10 February 2016, which states that due to his health, had back pain. He cannot see law, concentrate for law, and in order to effectively participate in the hearings, he requests of his rights to participate in and be present at the Il demande donc à pouvoir suivre les débats depuis la cellule temporaire hearing. du tribunal pour les Having audiences du 10 février 2016. Le chambre de suicide d'un rapport de l'ECCC, dated 10 février 2016, 2016, which notes that Dans son rapport, le médecin Nunji has chronic back pain when he sits for long de de chronique lorsqu'il demeure ainsi trop longtemps. And recommends that the chamber grant him his request so that he can follow the proceedings remotely from the holding cell downstairs. Based on the above information, in section 81.5 of the ECCC internal rules, the chamber grants Nunji his request to follow the next proceedings remotely from the holding cell downstairs via audiovisual means. The Chamber instructs the AV unit personnel to link the proceedings to the room downstairs so that Nunchia can follow. This applies to the whole day. And I'd like now to hand the floor to the co-prosecutors to put the questions to the experts. Thank you, Mr. President. I would like to begin, Your Le Honors, procureur. to apologize to Your Honors Monsieur. and all in the courtroom for a miscalculation or typo from yesterday on the my calculations of the uh, information on page 120 of the witnesses book and you see that in the village of Svai Klang the difference between the families in 1975 and 1979 should have been 1,120 that would affect the calculations just for the record so the total for the seven villages listing families would be 3,738, multiplying that by an average of five persons per family, that leaves 18,690 individuals. And then adding to that the individuals Donc, from Pal and Pouis village would leave a total of 20,821. Uh, my apologies, I was responsible for that error. Sir, I want to go back now and talk to you more about the history of Cham resistance to the Khmer Rouge. You've talked about a uh, incident in Treya village in 1973 and rebellions in uh, Spai Klang and Kopal in 1975. Et de Kopal en 1975. At some point uh, in the eastern zone, in Kroch Chamar district, Donc, did dans la forces zone from other dans le district de Kroch zones est -il arrivé que des forces come zones to that district? Viennent dans le district?
tam answer based on my research there is no uh, witness who confirmed that uh, forces came from other zones however there were forces uh, coming from the sector uh, level and at that time it was part of a sector 21 Sorry, I'm, I changed my headset because I got no translation. Did others get translation? Désolé, en fait, je n'ai pas eu l'interprétation. One moment, euh, please. C'est pourquoi j'ai changé mes écouteurs. I apologize, sir, but because of a technical problem, I did not get your answer. I have a new headset now. Um, just to confirm, I understand you said that in Sector 21, other forces came. From what other zones did they come? Des forces sont venues d'ailleurs, mais de quelle zone? I actually uh, replied to your last question, en fait, but you didn't get it, and allow me to repeat my response. Through the uh, people whom I interviewed, Dans they never said that there were other forces, there were forces from other zones. Forces However, zones. there were forces Cependant. coming from the southern part of Akrochma district sont de la sud that de is district crossing de the rice fields and Donc, the euh, forest traversant les rizières et la forêt, through Swai Kleang village, pour, uh, village and it Swai is Kleang. my conclusion that uh, those Genre forces came from suivante. the sector level that is que sector ces sont 21 du niveau du secteur, in à savoir le secteur zone. 21. And there were no military forces coming from other zones, zones except the military forces from sector 21. Thank you. Um, let me make Merci. sure that we're speaking about the same period of time. I'm talking now not about 1975, 1975 but I'm talking about, uh, let me just say, Mais the 1977-78, no earlier than 1977, the end of 1978, did those that you interviewed indicate that people had come from other areas, from the other side of the Mekong, perhaps, or other parts of Cambodia, other forces from the DK into the Krochchma district and other parts of the Eastern Zone? Other forces from the Eastern Zone came from the But if you indicate the time period between 1977 si and 78, yes, there were. 78 78, However, oui. my uh, initial question to, uh, was in relation to uh, Kapal. Mais la question and qui avait été posée était au sujet de Kapal. Your, Donc, question, en réponse à votre there question, there were military forces. Security forces and administrative forces, forces administrative which were sent from the uh, southwest and the central zones, zones to et control, to administer, and to purge Cham people in Cham district, dans le district de which was in sector 21. Sector 21. So of those survivors that you interviewed, from Parmi the les eastern zone, avec from Croch Chumar, and many other districts in the eastern zone, districts de la zone est, the killings that they reported to you of Cham people, massacres de Cham dont ils vous ont parlé, did they occur ont -ils eu when it was under the eastern zone or after these other forces de la zone est, arrived ou après or both? Can you explain? Que ces autres forces soient arrivées ou les deux? Pouvez-vous nous dire ce qu'il en est? the killing of the Cham people, as I testified yesterday, started hier, since 1973, 
However, the scale of、uh, the uh, killing was different in 1970, from 1975 to 75. And from 75 to 77, the scale、et、of the killing was also different. And again, the killing between 77 to late 78 et, was uh, different. And again, the killing between 77 to late 78 was different. Dans la période postérieure à 77. The killing between 1977 to 78 was more serious and intensified. La situation était beaucoup plus grave. Les massacres se sont intensifiés en 77 et 78. Without incrimination, whoever was considered jam or jam related, toute personne qui était considérée jam ou liée au jam était prise pour cible et pouvait être tuée. And The killing between 1973 to 75 was、uh, mean for those who were、uh, knowledgeable in religion, religious leaders, religious, religious, religious students, leaders, religieux, des étudiants, intellectuals, or those who were、uh, respected in the community, et les autres personnes、uh, qui se sont fait respecter dans la communauté, et aussi les personnes bien nantis. Ces personnes étaient prises pour cible entre 73 et 75. Ces personnes étaient prises pour cible entre 73 et 75. Ces personnes étaient prises pour cible entre 73 et 75. Ces personnes étaient prises pour cible entre 73 et 75. As for the period between 75 to 77, 77, the target of the killing was similar to that of the Khmer people. It means those who oppose the regime, Khmer, those who refuse to obey instructions, or those who oppose the revolution, those who refuse to eat pork. Or those who refuse not to speak a charm or to change their name, de de they were the targets of the killing between this period of 75 to 77. And, and as I stated, dit, the killing between 77 to 77 was those who were considered charm or a charm related. Yes, sir. There's some evidence in this case that in 1978, quinze éléments de preuve semblent indiquer qu'en 1978, fighting broke out in the eastern zone des between DK forces. What effect in your conversations with survivors did that have any effect upon the chapter? Quel effet cela a-t-il eu sur les chapters? Between 1977 and 78, there were internal contradictions within the revolution and the party rank. Au sein de la révolution, that is between the east zone and the central zone, or the central leadership of the Khmer Rouge. Le centre des Khmer Rouges. In particular, in 19 78, the cadres and the military forces in the east zone were purged, along with the Cham people. However, in Kong Mi district and Stung Trang district, which were not part of the east zone. They were in fact part of the center zone. En fait They were subject of the purge as Ces well. These endroits, donc, ont fait aussi l'objet de purge. So it seems that、uh, this was nothing to do with the、uh, purge policy from the central party to the cadres in the eastern zone, but it was the target of the Cham people. You indicated yesterday that in your conversations with survivors, Cham survivors, those who had taken part in resistance were proud of that. Ceux qui avaient participé à la résistance en étaient fiers. Et alors que d'autres étaient fiers que les Cham 
et résister et se soit même révolté contre la Dans le cadre de vos conversations, ont ils indiqué s'il y avait une résistance en 1977 ou 1978, résistance contre les forces du Kampuchea démocratique Et ce, d'après vos souvenirs Between 1977 to As I said, by that year, the Cham were not allowed to live as a community. Les Cham n'avaient pas le droit de vivre en communauté. Ils avaient été dispersés à différents endroits et avaient été transférés et vivaient mêlés au peuple de la population Khmer. Et donc, il n'y avait pas de plan coordonné visant à lancer des activités de rébellion. Thank you. Question. I want to ask you now, switching Merci. topics, passer, uh, about some um, vous poser des reports au sujet of, de certains rapports of policy of the Khmer, Khmer Rouge. I'm going to start with a couple of Rouge. quotes from, again, Ben Kiernan, that's E3-1593, uh, uh, in English, en it's anglais. at page... 280. The French ERN is 00-63-90-54. The Khmer ERN, the quote I'm about to read, is 00-63-77-96, and on to the next page. Et à la page suivante. He says... Kiernan wrote voilà that in July en fait, 1977, en juillet 1977, in Kravar sub-district, 20, 20 families of Cham, 20 familles were loaded Cham onto security trucks from Kampong Tma, de camions de sécurité de Kampong Tma et Zwatong, and driven off, et ont never été to return. conduits et ne sont jamais revenus. Yamat, who had relatives Yamat, among this group, qui avait des pointed out de that sa they had, quote, a indiqué qu'ils so avaient mangé du porc, still, etc., et pourtant ils ont unquote. été tués. Matt l'a expliqué en faisant référence à un, un document quote, du centre de 1978 au sujet de la constitution de 1975-76. Il se souvient qu'il était en état quote, de subversion. It was document Et number 163. Le document numéro 163. It said we will not spare the champ document because if spared, que they will resist car si on les épargne, ils vont and résister. produce and produces in parent revisionism. Et it said that the champ race is not to be spared because it has a history of resisting the socialist revolution and also in the champ period. Communiste et aussi pendant la période du Champa. So we undertake a policy donc, of discarding them. Et donc, nous adoptons them. une politique visant à les rejeter. Now, maintenant. They hand with the Vietnamese, so they must all be killed. Ils sont Excuse avec me, les they Vietnamiens, and the Vietnamese. donc, bon, eux et les Vietnamiens. I have to check the book. Bon, je vais peut-être devoir vérifier le livre. So they must all be killed Mais ils doivent tous être tués. It said the Chams had already rebelled once in the eastern zone. déjà révolté une fois dans la zone est. It said we... Il a dit que nous avions fui la persécution dans notre pays vietnamien et qu'ils ne pouvaient pas être dignes de confiance. Le document m'a indiqué qu'ils devaient être écrasés en petits morceaux. Comme tech call, peu importe le département où ils se trouvent, ils doivent être écrasés en petits morceaux. Before I ask you about this document, sir, let me Donc, avant de read vous poser des questions au sujet de ce document, uh, quoting, je vais maintenant euh, lire in a, Kiernan, qui lui cite tout de suite après cet extrait que je viens de citer. Matt's il dit que Moss L a corroboré ce qu'a dit Matt, qui prétend avoir vu le document 163 en juin 1978, qui a, le document appartenait à Yong, qui était superviseur des travaux publics à Cham Lahom. 
Sir, in your research, have you Monsieur, heard anything about this document 163 or any similar policy document? I interviewed a witness named Sok Kamrae who uh, claims that he affirmed read a policy uh, document, avoir lu un document de politique that is entitled plan for progressive cooperative le plan pour les and he claimed that he read it at the Chamka Le district in Chamka province, province of Kampong sector 42 42 of the central zone. zone centrale. There was a one point of uh, that uh, policy document of the pro plan point. for progressive cooperative de and it uh, highlights the purchase of the enemy, including the Chan people, that they all had to be heard before 1980. And the document in question, Ce document. I have not heard of it before. Je avais jamais entendu parler avant. And the documents that I uh, heard from my witness was the one that I just mentioned in my response. Thank you. I believe the document, the um, Merci. interview with Sos Kamri, you discussed on page 116 of your book. Do you have your book with you? Of Cham Rebellion, the book of Cham Rebellion. Cham Rebellion. Let me, and you quote him vous le as saying that the document he read, as you said, it had the title The Plan for Progressive Cooperatives. Titre, le plan you pour quote him as saying, quote, him saying that the document stated, quote, dit que our le immediate enemies are the Cham. We must smash them les Cham. all before 1980. Is that what? Sos Kamri told you cela, ce que vous a dit in Sos Kamri, book, et vous pouvez vérifier dans votre ouvrage pour voir si cela vous rafraîchit la mémoire. President, international co-prosecutor, uh, please uh, refer to the EAN of the uh, document in your question. Please uh, turn on your microphone, international co-prosecutor. The document is E3 slash 2653 in Khmer, the URN is 00-90-43-63, in French 00-94-39-79-1. And in English, en anglais, it's page 116. Page and the end of the very first paragraph Et is what uh, I just read, sir, on the, in the English. The end of the first paragraph. Can you confirm that that is what Sos Kamri told you? Oui, vous confirmez que ce he que vous recalled a dit the documents. A propos de don, si, ce dont il se souvenait. Yes, uh, that is correct. Exact. I recall uh, what Sokamre told me. me dit, Sokamre. 
and I uh, use part of uh, the uh, interview in my book. Et j'ai eu recours à une partie de cet entretien avec lui dans mon ouvrage. And the document that he said he read. Ce document qu'il dit avoir lu. And I use it in English that the plan for progressive cooperative and in Khmer cooperative Penka Sahako Chun Lun. Khmer c'est Penka Sahako Chun Lun. And it's not a development uh, cooperatives Donc, but a progressive cooperative. Le développement des coopératives c'est les coopératives Sir, also recall writing about Question. an interview vous vous you aussi had d'avoir parlé with an individual from Chumnik village named Saleh Akma le nom de Saleh Ahmad dans le district de Krochman. And just for the record, I think Et we're going to get to this. Bon, I'm referring bon, to again the same document E3/2653 in Khmer. Where in Khmer? Here in is 00904363. So on page 119 in English, I believe. And in French, the ERN is 00943977. In English, page 118, 00219179. Page 118 in English. Page 118 dans la version anglaise. Perhaps, sir, you could read that to yourself, and then um, bon, I'll ask you what you recall about the interview with Saleh Ahmad. Donc, vous vous souvenez de votre entretien avec cette personne. Bat lok som response. Salas Ahmad is one of uh, the uh, people who provided me with the information. And from my recollection, he spoke about uh, a farewell uh, to one of the district chiefs in Kochma. He attended a pitting in this uh, dans le district de Crouchman, zone, and there were il a participé à une réunion dans la zone nord, il y avait des chefs de district uh, parmi eux, et parmi eux, il y avait le chef du district de Crouchman. He was there only as uh, to accompany the district chief, and he did not participate in the meeting, but in le chef fact, de district, il n'a pas participé he was outside. à la réunion, However, he il était à l'extérieur. Hear what they were discussing in the meeting. And he recalled cette that the voice of the person who spoke at the time was de that of Kai Pok. And Kai Pok said the plan of the party was to smash the Chamber of People. And Kai Pok said the plan of the party was to smash the Chamber of People. To smash all of them. Because they were all of them. The people of the Because they were the traitors. Because they were the traitors. Thank you. You just said uh, it was the north zone, and in the passage you call it the central zone. Can you just explain that? Response. I'm sorry. Uh, you, what is your question? I'm not clear. Uh, your purpose of questioning. You just stated that this was a meeting of the North Zone. Okay, uh, let me move on. I, I don't know, maybe a little, I don't think it's a big issue. I want to ask you.
At some point, let me just clarify one thing. You said yesterday that at some point uh, the North Zone was changed to an, another name. Is that correct? Or some parts of the North Zone were changed to another name? Response. Yes, you are correct. The North Zone or in Khmer Odor or Kang Chung, it was used uh, synonymously in some case, but based on my interview of uh, some witnesses, um, uh, they would call it um, Pumpi Kang Chung, which is the North Zone, and other call it. Uh, Pumpi Odor. It is uh, translated into English as the same, the North Zone. And, uh, and at some point in time, the Southwest country invaded the North Zone, and then it was changed to Pumpi Kandal, which is um, the, the Central Zone. Thank you. Now, in Saleh Ahmad's account that you just gave us, he mentions Kapok as being the secretary of that zone. I'd like to read to you now from a record of interview on the case file, that is E3-35, of an individual who says that he is the son or was the son of Kapok. This is Ka Pich. Vanak in Kamai, the ERN that I will read is at 00340567, in French at 00367727, and in English at 00346155. He was asked, after Sao Pim was dead, what was your father's role? He answered, after that, they had my father take charge of two zones, including the north and the central zone, in order to reorganize the rear line. Question, were the other levels purged later on? Answer, after the arrival of the intervention division of PIN, they purged the elements who used to have a connection with Sao Pim. This included cadres and commanders of the whole East Zone, as well as the person in charge of the radio communication. Question, where did they send those arrested people to? Answer. They killed the arrested people on the site. During that same period, there were headless corpses floating in the Mekong River. And one day, a few floating headless corpses were caught up at the dock in front of Pol Pot's office. There's a break in the interview, and it then resumed. And the witness was asked, can you continue to describe that event further? He answered, at that time, Paul Pot wondered why there were corpses floating in the river. He then sent a telegram calling my father to Phnom Penh immediately. At about 4 o'clock, I and my father left for Phnom Penh on a Dakota airplane. At first, I worried and was afraid they would arrest my father, because before boarding the airplane, they took away his gun. They never did that previously. While disembarking from the airplane, I saw they had a car waiting for picking up my father, so I felt relieved because the car looked like that for receiving a delegation. But I did not accompany him. When my father returned, I asked him what happened. He replied, there was a strange matter, because brother, parentheses, Paul Pot, saw the floating corpses were caught up in front of his office. So he ordered an immediate investigation. 
demandé After my father returned home, he ordered a division chairman named Che, che deceased, de division, to lead an investigating group over those floating corpses. The witness was asked, what was the result of the investigation over the floating corpses? He answered, the investigation found that the Cham people had been arrested, placed in the boats, and then were beheaded before they were dumped into the river. The question was, did you go with them? Them. He answered, no, I did not. That event took place in Croch Chamar district, opposite from Stung Treng district. The intervention unit of the center, led by PIN, was involved in that killing. He was asked, after receiving the result, how did your father plan to do? And he answered, after receiving the result, my father made a report and sent it to Office M70. Mr. Witness, do you have any information from the interviews of victims that you interviewed that would shed any light on how headless corpses of Cham or headless corpses of individuals would get into the Mekong River near Crotch Chama? flottait sur le Mekong. Response. I used to read interview of Kao Pek Vanak. He is the son of Kao Pok. I want you to ask, ask you about your work in the OCIJ. I'm talking about your interviews with DC CAM before going to work for OCIJ. Did any of those people you talked to, did they ever talk about bodies in the Mekong River? Response. In fact, the corpse is floating in the Mekong River at Krochma. It, it is correct as stated by Kepek Wanak because in 1977, the Cham people were gathered for the purpose of purging. As I uh, told you earlier, it was a purge which is indiscriminately which is no discrimination, um, any charm would be the target. Um, previously, they would bury the corpses along the river, especially um, the charm from Trier village. But later, as the killing occur, um, uh, several and many times, and um, the burial site was not good enough for all the corpses, so they changed their method of um, uh, uh, disposal of the body or of the corpses. They drop into the river. As I heard from certain witnesses, um, the corpses uh, were not headless. But the, the might be uh, happened because of the composition. The victim were tied up um, from uh, 15 to 20 people, and uh, they used the end of the uh, the string and tied up to another boat, and on the other side to another boat, and um, people who were tied up uh, between the two boats, no one could um, escape uh, or could uh, uh, flit from that incident. And uh, the boat were driven across the river, and the victim were drawn to death in the river, and after that ordeal, and the Khmerus would untie them and drop them into the water as the water was flowing from Kerches to Kampong Cham and then to Phnom Penh. 
And yes, I agree with the account of Big Wan Nak that there were corpses floating in the river. And based on his account, um, there may be corpses of charmed people, but there might be other corpses of people who were killed in an uh, area next to Phnom Penh. Sir, um, talking about Kapok, you mentioned yesterday six villages that the population had been almost completely wiped out from Kampong Siem. Kampong Siem was under which zone commander? Kampong Siem faisait partie de quelle zone? Et quel était le commandant? Let's say in 1977 and 1978. Respond. Yes, in 1977 through 1978 in Kampong Siem, Kampong Siem was in the central zone. So, following up on this um, interview with K. Pit Penak, who talked about his father reporting on killing Cham to Pol Pot, I'd like to ask you about document E3266 which is called Livre Noir, or Black Book, in Khmer, it is at ERN 00289650, in French 00284574, and in English 00825145. And there's just one two sentences in that book that I want to ask you about. It states that in 1693, the Vietnamese swallowed the whole Champa by annexing the region of Phan Thiet. The Cham race was totally exterminated by the Vietnamese. In your research, had you heard other instances where Khmer Rouge for uh, uh, individuals or propaganda claim that the Cham were killed by the Vietnamese des éléments de propagande des Khmer Rouge disant que les Cham avaient été tués par les Vietnamiens et avaient été exterminés il y a plusieurs centaines d'années Response Yes, it is correct. President, hold on, expert. Uh, Antakize, you may proceed. Oui, Monsieur le Président, je m'oppose yes, à Mr. la manière dont uh, la question est posée par Monsieur uh, le Co-Procureur, puisque c'est une question um, qui um, donne déjà une... Um, une, question, il parle de propagande, la question uh, peut-être, puisqu'on parle d'un événement historique propaganda. et de... Uh, si on parle à l'expert de l'histoire du Champa, de poser la question de façon plus neutre, à la manière dont la question est posée est particulièrement tendancieuse. La manière dont la question est posée est particulièrement tendancieuse. Est particularly tendentious. I'm not sure I understand the objection, but I do agree that my question probably could be stated more clearly, so let me try again. Sir, what I read from the Black Book is a statement claiming that the Cham people were exterminated centuries ago. Had you ever heard any other propaganda during the written or issued during the Khmer Rouge period by the DK authorities claiming that the Cham had been exterminated centuries before the DK period? exterminé bien avant, des siècles avant, la période du Kampuchea démocratique. Response. In Réponse. history, the incident happened um, like what you have uh, said. Dans the Vietnamese exterminate or kill the Cham people and uh, 
Vietnam swallowed Champa as a country, a whole of the country, and no one can manipulate uh, this history. If you ask me um, about my research on the Khmer si Rouge regime, and I know that the Khmer Rouge um, did not want the charm to know their history, and they keep approaching them in any effort so that they lose all their identity, their culture, their language, and their tradition. This was the purpose of the Khmer Rouge. If you are talking about um, the encouragement for charm to know or to learn uh, their history, there was none under the Khmer Rouge regime. In your research of the DK period and what happened to the Cham people, did you come across any evidence that the Cham people during the DK period were killed by Vietnamese? Response in DK period. The Vietnamese did not kill any charm. The Vietnamese themselves were also uh, victimized by themselves, and they had no opportunity to kill any charm people, any charm person. Just so my question is clear, I'm not just speaking about um, Cambodians of Vietnamese descent, but forces from Vietnam. Were any of the Cham in your research killed by military forces from Vietnam during the DK period? Response, no. Response, no. I want to ask you about another interview in your Question, book, The Cham Rebellion. And this is at Khmer ERN 00904406. And in English, at 00219209, if there's not a French translation. Uh, this is someone you indicate that you interviewed at Sach So village in Kang Mias district in 2004. Uh, she told you, in 1978, they started taking measures to destroy the Cham, every last one. I saw this purge with my own eyes when they sent me to Wat Trakun. They arrested me because I had left my unit to go get a sleeping mat from home. After one night at Otrakun Pagoda, I was released back to my unit. When I was there, I saw a large group of children, some who could not yet walk, some who could. Their parents had already been killed. I knew that most of them were Cham children from my village. Village, and others were the children of the April 17 people. The Khmer Rouge tossed some of the children in the air and speared them with knives. Some were bashed against tree trunks and then thrown in pits on top of the piled bodies of adults. My question for you, sir, is um, did you is this the only interview where you heard of children being killed, or did you have other persons indicate to you that Cham children were killed? Response. In fact, the killing of children does not only happen in this place, this area. The Khmer Rouge policies saying that when you dig out the grass, you, you had to dig uh, all the root 
se débarrasser so d'une mauvaise herbe, il faut extraire les parents qui se débarrassent de leurs parents et des ennemis. Ils n'ont aucune chance de survivre, si ces enfants ne vivent pas dans les endroits où ils ne peuvent pas vivre, dans les endroits où ils ne peuvent pas vivre, dans les endroits où ils ne peuvent pas vivre, dans les endroits où ils ne peuvent pas vivre, dans les endroits où ils ne peuvent pas vivre. So this happened not only at Old Trakun. This ha has happened in other places like Krochma and other places during the decay period. You just stated that some children were spared if they basically changed their identity to no longer be Cham. Can you explain that? Were children raised by anyone les other than their parents, for example. Est-ce que cela concernait les enfants élevés par qui que ce soit d'autre que leurs parents As you are aware, the Khmer Rouge generally did not allow children to live with their parents. The children were required to live in the children units. And there were no specific children unit for the Cham children. So, for example, the chief of the units who may have feel sympathy for the Cham si children, the chiefs may try to hide the identity of the children. De so the chief enfants. reported Le chef to the, their supervisors that in the unit there were no Cham children. So the Cham children in this situation could survive. Thank you. I have one more topic, brief topic to cover with you before turning over questioning briefly to my colleague. And this concerns an appendix to Okuba, E3, 1822, page 119. What I'm interested in discussing with you is Et ce qui the fate of leaders of the Cham community. Le sort At French, the ERN is 0075-8331, and there is not a Khmer translation. I'm not interested in discussing the population, which we've already done figures. But in, your, in this appendix, you list certain positions and the changes between the numbers of people in those positions in 1974 and 1979. It's not very long, so let me just read them quickly. I heard there may be a translation problem. Je viens d'entendre qu'il y a peut-être un problème d'interprétation ou de traduction. Non, translation est President, you may now resume. There, there is not any uh, problem. Thank you. So, sir, in uh, the appendix, you indicate the following positions and changes between 74 and 79. First, chief of religious leaders or mufti. There was one in 74, none in 79. First deputy chief, one in 74, zero 79. Second deputy chief, one in 74, zero 79. Hakim, 113 in 1974, 20 in 1979. First slash second deputy Hakim, 226 in 1974, 25 in 1979. Tun, which I believe 
Well, I'll ask you about that in a second. Les tout, 300 in 1974. Il y en avait 300 en 1974. 38 in 79. en 1979. Haji, which you discussed yesterday, told us is someone who has made the uh, trip to Mecca, the Hajj, more than 1,000 in 1974 and about 30 in 1979. Students who studied overseas 26 in 1974, 2 in 1979, and mosque 113 in 1979, 5 in 1979. So, sir, first I want to ask you a couple quick questions about some of these positions. A tune, can you explain what is a tune and what importance tunes have to the Chan community existing as such. What is a tune? Qu'est-ce qu'un tune? Bây giờ là play. In simple terms, tune is the religious tune. Teacher of Islam. And in every village, there must be a tun. There is no village that doesn't have a tun. And there must be. And there could be more than one tun in each village. And it is an obligation of the Cham parents who have to send their children to the religious school. So this is the roles and obligation of the Tun to teach and educate children in the village to know about the religion and religious practices of Islam. You've mentioned Hakim, but can you uh, give us a little bit more definition? What is, the, what is a Hakim and what role do they have in preserving Cham religion identity? Comment préserve-t-il l'identité et la culture Cham? First of all, I would like to correct some figures that may come from the translation error or from, from you. You mentioned that in 1974 there were 130 Hakim. In fact, there were 113 Hakim in 1974. And the, for the role of Hakim, Hakim was responsible for general supervision of Islam in each community. There can be any Islamic village that doesn't have a hakim. And there must be only one hakim in each village. There cannot be two hakim with equal rights in the, with equal authority in the village. The hakim is responsible for supervising villagers. And if anyone breach the religion, Hakim is responsible for educating and guiding that person to, to practice along the path of the religion. And Hakim is also responsible for deciding who can become Tun. In each village, uh, there is a person who has a supreme authority, and that is Mufti. Mufti is responsible for assigning or appointing any person in the village 
who is perceived as a good person to become the Hakim. And I also would like to tell that when I was young, I noted that Mufti did not have much authority to appoint Hakim because after 1979, there were not yet Mufti. It was the villagers who voted to choose Hakim after 1979. First of all, it clear, your Question. appendix clearly states the number of Hakim in 74 as 113. Uh, I apologize if I made an error. I simply uh, asked for uh, consideration of my... It must be getting old. Um, sir, Mufti, I was a little Monsieur confused Mufti, with your answer. Je, je I thought I understood you were saying in translation, réponse. there's one in each village. Vous avez dit Can you explain in the document village. you indicate in 74 there was one Mufti? Il y avait un seul Mufti Can you explain en how many Muftis there were in Cambodia in 74? Mufti is in charge of the religion. He is the supreme leader of the religion in the country. There is no Mufti at the village level. There is only one Mufti in the whole country. In Cambodia, in the past, there used to be a Mufti named Rehla, who was bestowed with the honorific title Là, by the former king. Que lui a At the present time, there is also one mufti in Et the whole country. Jours, il y a un mufti. But he has his first deputy and second deputies. Un premier et un second Thank you. Now, Question. you also listed Merci. students who studied overseas. Can, Can you explain why you felt that this category was important enough to include in this appendix? Que c'était une catégorie importante pour What role euh, did they have en parler. In the Cham community. Quel rôle avaient ces étudiants dans la communauté Cham? For students from overseas, les étudiants I refer to those who study religion in foreign countries. They are important because in the old days there was limited chance for students to go and study overseas. Going to study overseas was a rare opportunity. So that's why I included them in my writing because it's a great honor and a great um, pride for the community of the Cham in 1974, Cham en who had their students who went and studied overseas. And those students absorbed knowledge from Ces Islamic countries, for example, in Malaysia, in Indonesia, in the Arab world, where there, there, there were uh, deep uh, studies of Il religion, and they could bring the knowledge from those countries back to uh, the community in Cambodia. And at that time, uh, it was difficult to bring back the knowledge or material from pouvoir, uh, foreign country into Cambodia because there was no internet like nowadays. So Cambodge, it was a great honor for the Islamic community Donc, in Cambodia in 1974 to have 26 students coming back from overseas studies. Thank you. So this uh, appendix that you Donc, created, showing the difference in the number of these leaders that existed in 1974 and five years later in 1975. Can you explain why you felt it important to list these? 
what effect the change in the numbers pour vous de of these leaders might have had upon the ability, ability of champ communities in Cambodia to maintain their identity as champ as such. The Cham people live as a community, as a minority, not as the majority. That's why we needed a leader, we needed a knowledgeable person, and we needed places to pray to our gods. So when we lost the religious leaders, we lost someone who knew about religion. Chef on this impacted on the young people sur les who could not study religion in an in-depth way. Ne pas les we could en gain good knowledge only when we had good, knowledgeable les teachers. La seule façon de de bonnes so when de we bons lost enseignants. this good teachers qui ont ces connaissances. Et donc lorsque we were affected avec une, la, la perte during de the Khmer Rouge the Khmer Rouge killed knowledgeable impact. les Khmer Rouge religious scholars and teachers euh, and as a result les the Cham people et les personnes qui avaient des connaissances lost religieuses the basis et donc les Cham that they could gain knowledge and they became de connaissances they became weak and, Ce qui les a and they lost uh, someone who could guide or teach them about religion. So they became, the young people became uh, illiterate, low educated sont devenus as a result. And slightly switching topics. Question. Je One other passer, question uh, I want to ask you. Sujet you talked about how Cham before the DK period lived in Vous concentrated communities, mainly la along the river, particularly Cham Cham dans les communautés plutôt concentrées, surtout le long des How important rives du fleuve en Cham Cham. Donc, quelle était l'importance pour la communauté Cham, ou quelle est l'importance pour la communauté Cham pour maintenir son identité Cham au Cambodge, de vivre ainsi concentré, de vivre si proche d'autres chambres plutôt que d'être euh, éparpillés dans d'autres villages et mêlés à différents groupes ethniques du pays. Quel est le rôle de cette concentration de chambres Quel rôle cette concentration joue-t-elle pour assurer la communauté uh, it is necessary that the Cham need to live Il close to each other. Nécessaire pour les Cham de vivre proche les uns des autres. The religion encourage the people who follow Islam to live close each other, to live close to each other, because sont, enfin, it is necessary to help each other in case of. Uh, cela in the emergency needs and it's also easy for them to pray together il est aussi plus facile in the mosque. Leur de vie, de prier ensemble à la mosquée. It is also necessary for the Cham people to maintain their identity when they live close to each other because they, it's easy for them to ensemble. speak to each other in Cham language and they could also Cham, maintain their culture and tradition maintenir leur tradition et leur culture and as a result living it close to each other help the cham people to maintain their identity and tradition à maintenir leur identité et leur tradition I promise this is my last question. Yeah. Je vous promets que ce sera ma dernière um, question. Vous avez parlé de prier ensemble, l'importance de prier ensemble dans la pratique musulmane des Cham au Cambodge. Existe-t-il des règles quant à un nombre minimal de personnes pour un groupe de prière ou pour pouvoir prier ensemble?
Based on the discipline of the Islamic religion, there should be a minimum of 40 prayers who join in Islam the, the prayer in the mosque. Ideally, there should be the uh, entire community who involved in the prayer. However, people could also pray elsewhere besides the mosque. They could uh, pray at their residence. They could form a smaller group three or four individuals. However, for a mosque and for a hakim to be valid, there should be at least 40 prayers who join in the prayer. President, thank you. It is now appropriate for a short break. We will take a break now and resume at 10.30. Court officer, please the uh, expert during the break time at the veteran room for witnesses and experts and invite him as well as the OCIG legal officer back into the courtroom at 10.30. The court is now in recess.